So here we are at US Nationals 2018. It's Friday morning and the competition hasn't quite started yet, but it looks like everybody's working on getting stuff set up. Anyway, here is the main room of the competition. So four blind is the first event. You can see some people practicing here and everyone else is gathering up here, getting ready for their events. And here's the feet room, or at least where feet is happening. Time for my first event of the day, skew. Alright, I did pretty well on Skew, but I'm pretty sure I got a PB single and average, but hopefully that'll get me to the second round so that I can improve it even further. Over there going on is Clock, lots of Skew, and I think 7x7 seven seven over there. So about an hour later and there are a lot more people, so let's go check out the sign up. And that is a long line, so I think I'm just gonna wait until later. Anyway, let's go check out the five blind room and see what's going on. That was Stanley Chapel with the 5x5 five five blindfolded world record single, 345. Well, the lines died down a little bit, so I guess I should go check in now after my first event. And now it's time for me to do square one, which I haven't practiced for at all. So we'll see how this goes. Let's just do some quick practice for pyramids. I'm not really hoping for anything in particular with my times, just something decent, maybe even round two would be nice. So I'm here at the cubicle shop they have set up here. Just bought a couple of new magnetic puzzles, which I'm gonna go back to the hotel and unbox. You guys have probably seen that video by now. Anyway, it looks like they're selling some t-shirts over there and also over there. And I think for the most part, everyone is going to eat lunch. That is staff lunch though. All right, lunch is pretty much over. I'm gonna head over to the multi-blind room to see what's going on before moving on to my afternoon events. All right, it's now time to compete in four x four. 110 should be pretty easy. Maybe I can even get a PB.
All right, another bad 4x4 average. I messed up a lot, got like three double parodies, and messed up a Z-Firm once, messed up edge bearing once. Yeah, it wasn't great. Time for one-handed. Hopefully I can get some sort of TV average, like a 28 or something. There's a very consistent one-handed average. That's a lot of ones. There's the new one-handed world record single from Max Park, 6.44, finally overthrowing Felix. We have the green team up here. The team assembled by Felix to try and take down Max Park. Go. So now we have some seminars, and I think that's it for the night. So here we are at the beginning of the second day. The first two events, I believe, are 5x5 five five and 6x6, six six, which of course I didn't qualify for. All right, for my first event of the day, it is Megamin's time. Oops. All right, so that was in fact a PV average and I also got a PV single of 131, so that's cool. Also, while I was up there competing, there was a new Mega Minx world record single by Juan Pablo Juanqui. It was like a 27 down from a 29, which is just insane. Alright, now it's time for Pyramings Round 2, and now it's time for Skew Round 2. Using a blindfold in a normal 3x3 three three round. Interesting? Well, I guess at least it's good practice for the blind round coming up. It's time for 3x3, three three. my times have been kind of all over the place, so we'll see what happens. Well, I had a lot of potential for a good average there. I started off with 12, which was a PV single, and there are a lot of really good scrambles, but I just messed a lot of them up. Going up to compete in the first round of 2x2, two two, this will be my last speed solve of the competition.
So now it's time for the third and final attempt at this competition for FMC. I actually did participate in the previous two attempts last night and this morning, but I decided to delete the footage because I got DNFs both times. So now that I can't get a full mean of three anymore, I'm going to try and at least get a good single, maybe a sub 40, sub 35 if I'm lucky. I got a 29. Ooh, BB. Anyway, for the rest of the night, they're first going to play an unreleased documentary about cubing made by Chris Olsen, which I'll try and link down in the description if it's out by the time you're seeing this. And then the cubicle is hosting the sale challenge where there's a 16 person elimination bracket and each winner has to take the loser's cube. So, the way it's going to work is you're going to have five minutes to set up the cube. You're going to like three, two, one, go! And there we go, that's the end of the second day. And here we are for the third and final day of US Nationals 2018. The events just started for the day, but for the first half of the day it's mostly just like third rounds of everything. So I'm just gonna skip ahead to the final rounds. Hey! 